the final push to full gear. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is just for wrestling news for Wednesday, November 10th, 2021. This update is brought to you by the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check out the new episode right now, wherever you get your podcasts. AEW. AEW begins the final drive toward the full gear pay-per-view on tonight's Dynamite. AEW champion Kenny Omega and Hangman Page will meet for a contract signing ahead of their title match on Saturday night. Also tonight, Brian Danielson versus New Japan's Rocky Romero, FTR's Dax Harwood versus Pac, AEW Women's Champion Dr. Britt Baker, Jamie Hayter, and Rebel versus Ty Conti, Anna J and Thunder Rosa, and Leo Rush and Dante Martin versus Matt Seidel and Lee Moriarty. Martin pinned Frankie Kazarian on last night's Dark, thanks to a timely bit of outside interference by Rush. Also on last night's Dark, Seidel and Moriarty beat 2.0. The Gun Club beat Dark Order's Evil Uno, Alex Reynolds, and Colt Cabana. Austin Gunn surprised Uno with a roll-up and grabbed the top rope to steal the pin. Austin Gunn still has a perfect record in AEW. Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs beat Dark Order's Allen Five Angels in 10. Angels took the pin. Thunder Rosa, Chris Statlander, and Ryu Mizunami beat Emi Sakura, Jamie Hayter, and Rebel. Rosa pinned Rebel. There was some post-match tension between Statlander and Ruby Soho ahead of their second round match in the TBS Championship Tournament. Christian Cage, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus beat Matt Hardy, The Blade, and Isaiah Cassidy. Jungle Boy forced The Blade to tap out to the snare trap. Darby Allen pinned QT Marshall with the coffin drop. Plus, Too Fast, Too Fuego beat Nick Camarado and Aaron Solo, who took the pin. WWE. On last night's NXT, Pete Dunne pinned the North American champion Carmelo Hayes in a non-title match. The ending saw Johnny Gargano reach up from under the ring and grab Hayes' foot. That distraction set up Hayes for the bitter end. Toxic Attraction beat Io Shirai, Casey Catanzaro, and Caden Carter. Gigi Dolan pinned Carter. Shirai's former tag team partner, Zoe Stark, confirmed on Tuesday that she suffered a major knee injury and is now recovering from surgery to repair a torn ACL and meniscus. Getting back to last night, Joe Gacy got a win over Boa via disqualification. This was about what you'd expect until the lights in the arena started flashing. This apparently affected Boa because he grabbed Gacy in a chokehold and wouldn't let go, and that led to the DQ. Kaylee Ray pinned Saray. Solo Sokoa pinned LA Knight to win a three-way that also included Grayson Waller. The Creed Brothers beat Kashida in Ikamin Jiro, and Zion Quinn turned down an invitation from Electra Lopez to join Legato Del Fantasma. NXT's War Games pay-per-view is now set for Sunday, December 5th. Makeup and special effects artist Jason Baker told the news outlet Metro in the United Kingdom that he and Wyndham Rotunda, the former Bray Wyatt in WWE, are, quote, starting a film at the end of the month, end quote. New Japan Pro Wrestling. New Japan announced the teams for the upcoming World Tag League Tournament. The current IWGP Tag Champs, Tai Chi and Zack Sabre Jr. are in. So are the Gorillas of Destiny, Hiroshi Tanahashi and Tori Yano, Togi Makabe and Tomoaki Hanma, Hiroyoshi Tenzan and Satoshi Kojima, Yuji Nagata and Tiger Mask, Hiroki Goto and Yoshihashi, Tetsuya Naito and Sonata, Great Khan and Aaron Hanare, Evil and Yujiro Takahashi, Bad Luck Fale is back, tagging with Chase Owens, and Minoru Suzuki will tag with another returning name, Takamichinoku. The tournament begins on Sunday. Juice Robinson told Sports Illustrated's Justin Barrasso his current contract with New Japan will expire in February. Ring of Honor. On this past weekend's Ring of Honor TV, Bandito successfully defended the ROH World Championship against Alex Zane, and Josh Woods beat LSG to retain his Pure Championship. Major League Wrestling and The Crash will co-promote an event in Tijuana, Mexico on December 3rd. And finally, a pair of deaths to report. 
Angelo Mosca, a legendary sports figure in Canada, died on Saturday. He was 84. And Judy Bagwell, mother of former WCW star Buff Bagwell and, yes, a former WCW tag team champion, passed away at the age of 78. That's just for wrestling news for Wednesday, November 10th. Our next update comes your way tomorrow morning. So please rate, review, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next update. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.